Hi guys, uh, it's Brad, and this will be a pretty short lecture. Um, generally, this one is heavily dependent on class participation, and actually it does get pretty darn lively. We're in a classroom setting, so um, we are going to hopefully make up for that participation by um, really doing a good job on the bulletin board and expressing ourselves around these issues. All right, and you'll certainly get my feedback on all of those as well. So I just want you to take a few seconds and and identify in your mind the difference between someone's ethnicity and their race. So what we usually come around to is ethnicity is something like the culture, which is made up of the religion, and um, other variables that go into making up a person's culture, whereas a race is based around their genetics, um, how tall they are, the color of their skin, the color of their eyes, those types of things. So uh, people can be of different races and have the same ethnicity, for instance. So looking at cultural diversity, there is a online library available. Okay, a real nice resource you have available inside of all your classes is the online library. So if you look at your uh, left-hand column where you've been navigating to do your assignments and whatnot, there's a library. If you go ahead and click on that, you have access to um, at least these three texts and they're adding things all the time. This might actually be outdated. And as you're doing research, not just for this class, but for any classes throughout your schooling, you have free access to all these, and they are uh, very uh, useful and in-depth texts. And the key concept that I want to leave you with is unconscious bias. And that is exactly like it sounds. So let's practice breaking apart words um, like we're doing in medical terminology, un being not conscious. These are things that we carry around as attitudes without even being aware of them. And I ask for uh, the people to dig down and ask themselves, what might be something that you are biased about that you aren't generally aware of? And a lot of times we have discussed something uh, around um, age, ageism and going both ways, both as the OK Boomer phenomenon and from the younger generation towards the older generation, and then calling people snowflakes with bias going in the opposite direction. And that's usually a very lively discussion, but just think about that and think about yourself as you are going to be going into your careers, you're going to be dealing with people from all races, ethnicities, and cultures. And you need to treat them all with the respect and professionalism that they, uh, that they deserve. And we, all of us, myself included, have unconscious biases that may be coloring the way we treat someone without our even knowing it. So the main thrust of this lecture and assignment is to do some self-examinations and see where you could do better as a person in dealing with someone that you maybe have some biases against. Uh, another one that comes up is people who look like they might be living on the street, um, that they might be dirty, they might have put themselves there, they have drug issues, they have mental health issues. Um, all of these things uh, are assumptions that are made unconsciously whether or not there's any objective proof for those. All right, thank you very much for your attention. Like I said, this is gonna be a short one and um, I'll uh, explain to you what you're gonna be doing in your assignment with the uh, bulletin board associated with this. Thanks a lot, guys.